Rokan 23. That's right. It is here. It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23.com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. Hey, y'all. I'm April. And I'm Caroline. And this is your bloody happy hour. Caroline, are you ready for this? This is your newest guilty pleasure. It's the bloodiest part of your week. Did we say something about it also being happy hour? Showed you in. Because we're about to be sipping on some murder. Bloody happy hour. What's up, y'all? It's Tuesday. Turn up Tuesday. Turn up Tuesday. We're here. Time for a quickie. It's just some quick um, crime in the news. Some quick happenings. Yeah, yeah. There's and a lot of things happening. So many things, but just two that I have been paying a little bit more attention to. So I'll go right into it. Demetrius Allen. He is the PRCA Pro Rodeo bull rider that was killed Monday, September 12th. Did anything like that come across your timeline? No. Did I not send it to you? No. Well, he was young, 27 years old, and he's like world, like he's professional. So there's bull riders that just go to these little play days, and they'll do like these small rodeos, but they got their real jobs. Well, this was his real job. He made money. He had sponsors. He was on TV. He'd go to Vegas. And he was 24th, actually, in the country. So pretty legit. They would call him Ouncey because he was... Small. Yeah, when he was um, little. Context he was clues. premature. Good job. Mm-hmm. Um, But he just was legit in this rodeo. I think it was originally for California. Mm-hmm. Living in Texas, of course. But there was a rodeo in Utah. Mm-hmm. And at the fair... And he had a great run, and his girlfriend was there. And so he had a girlfriend there that he would go in, that he planned on staying with after the rodeo. So they left the rodeo, they went out to a bar, and something happened at that bar where they ended up getting into a fight. Always, right? Oh, always. How many fights start at so many fights. with alcohol and bars and whatever else? Well, I don't drink at all. No, no, I don't either. Um, why aren't we on uh, what's McCloud's podcast? Um, Pay Off with Pete? Yeah. I don't know. Obviously, we're sober. <laughs> so they got into a fight. So he ended up not riding home with girlfriend. Not riding home. Not riding home with her. He rode home with somebody else, but the, and it's, it just said a friend. But it didn't say, like, was it a girlfriend? Was it a guy friend? Was it um, somebody, a friend that he met at the bar? Cause, you know, sometimes you meet people at the bar, and they're immediately your best friend. <laughs> you have so much trust <laughs> in them. And you ride home with them. <laughs> you ride home with them. Well, he, he on his way home, he texted girlfriend, and he was like, I'm getting my stuff, and I'm not staying there. Oh, real well, mad. He's real mad. He Yes, but very calmly. And the text was even very calm. So oh. he was going to get his stuff. He was going to no remove caps. himself from the situation because it obviously got bad at the bar. Yeah. He did not even have a chance to because a gunshot came through the door, hit him in his torso, and he died. Like when they pulled up to the house? I, I couldn't get whether he was in the house and on the other side of, like, the room, bedroom door or if oh, he was yeah. um, in front in the, on the front door and the front door and the bullet came through oh, the front door. Oh, I was thinking the car door when no, you no, said no, the door. Sorry, yeah. house door, yeah. house door, because there's, like, fragments from the actual the door. door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So even though he was behind a closed door, 
she is saying um what self-defense self defense. yes oh my god and it came across the screen as a domestic violence because it's self yeah so i just saw he died pro rodeo and my husband and his father-in-law they're big rodeo fans so i sent it to him and he was like so sad domestic violence when you hear domestic violence what do you automatically think the the guy killed the girl yes yeah so i was like oh was he after her and then she killed him or i was like maybe he was at his parents house and his dad killed mom and him like it was just hard for me to yeah fathom the fact that the male could have been the victim but stats say that it's about equal well, the, i mean here recently it seems like the males of it like the uh-huh. only fans murder uh-huh. well, give me talking about johnny depp amber heard again <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a murder so it's good so that's just basically where it is he has a five year old little girl the day before he had texted her say i'm coming home and i'm bringing you a puppy and she had already named the puppy he was supposedly a great dad great bull rider great person there's no reports that there was any um physical abuse like that he was mean or abusive or anything like that and she just had this gun in that house i guess it did say that they were on again off again relationship so a lot of the times that's like a clue like there was something tumultuous going on was there Cheating was there verbal abuse? Was there physical abuse? And wouldn't you be she the Wouldn't you be so scared if you had a gun and you had to use it? Would you be scared to use it? Be like, oh my gosh, I've never shot at a human. Yeah, I know. I feel like yeah, I would be like, ah, I don't want to. Yeah, like you think that you'd be badass and do what you oh, have to do for but sure. Not there'd probably be oh, shaking. I would definitely and, miss a hundred percent. Yeah, I would like. I mean, I would hit, like, the dresser drawers, like, way in the <laughs> yeah. background. or Yeah, it would be really bad. So I should start practicing. Horrible, I think. Horrible story. Sad story. Did she, is there any 9... Did she call 911? Did she try to do anything about... I mean... Friend called 911, and she said it was self-defense. And that's where we're at now. Um, because I'm thinking about Ellen Greenberg in that case, and, you know, she was... Uh-huh. When he called 911, it was like, oh... She's she's hurt and she's bleeding. Oh, oh, there's a knife in her chest. Oh, oh, I, oh, I didn't see it <laughs> sticking out <laughs> of her chest. Yeah. So and maybe stuff like that will continue to come out. This just happened. So probably by the time this airs, it'll be yeah. something totally new. But um, so be looking out for that story. I just want to see if more things are going to develop. Yeah. From that. And speaking of Ellen Greenberg, I did just see that they. Uh, the DA said that they were reopening the case. Good. Remind yes. them what case that is. Ellen Greenberg, she was the one in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Um, and she had, she was the, the teacher, she was at home, and she was the one that was stabbed several times. Like 20-something little tiny stab marks. There's the image yeah. on the post, like little tiny stab marks in the back of her head, in the back, in, in her back, in her neck. Mm-hmm. And then the fatal wound was in her chest with the knife. And it was like they, at first it was a murder, and then it was suicide, and then it was, it's still yeah. at suicide. Yes. And apparently the, the boyfriend, he ended up being related to some of the, lawyers or head mm-hmm. judges and stuff like that and so it like a cover all up type yeah thing. like all of this everybody who's done stories on it is like there's no way that was a suicide no, there's no at way all. no so Ever. it's been i mean i forget when it happened but it was several years ago mm-hmm. and so they finally or they were like hoping to get a new da because there was a petition and everything yes on, right? yes we signed the petition yeah. i signed the petition <laughs> i signed that petition. i remember okay so i did see that and then i did see something about adnan saeed yes just happened if you have ever listened to cereal, cereal yeah. yeah i just recently listened to it when we were doing the guilty or innocent month and my cousin sent it to and she was like what do you think and I listened to the whole thing, and I wasn't sure at all. Like, I wasn't yeah. totally convinced it wasn't him, but I wasn't convinced that it was. Mm-hmm. And so they're not saying he's not not guilty. They're saying 
they're going to let him have another trial, right? Yeah. They vacated his sentence and he's it's going to go to trial again. That's what I thought. Yes. Yes. Given this, the stunning lack of reliable evidence implicating him. And I think they have, oh, they got new DNA or, or it matched two other suspects. That's mm. what I briefly saw. So Mr. Said is grateful that this information has finally seen the light of day and he's looking forward to his day in court. So, I mean, when was this? Yet today, the yesterday. No, the, the case, like it's been a while that happened, that case. Oh, was it 99? Yeah. Judge, a judge in the 1999 case cover, covered in serial podcast. So that is my senior year, and this happened their senior year. So he's 42 years old. He's been there since after high school. And I listened to that whole thing, and I I didn't, or 41 I don't 41. think I thought he was, I think I thought he was innocent. Yeah. So... Now, a word from our sponsors. Rogue 23. That's right. It is here. It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R O G U E C O N 23.com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. Welcome to One Star Rewind a new podcast about those dreaded one-star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one-star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one-star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story. What's your emergency? Do you hear that? It's coming from the house. It's coming from inside the house? Uh, do you mean, could it be? The, the Bolter House. New from Rogue Media, two haunted hotties talking about haunted places. Every episode, we dive deep into the darkest places and give you a bit of history. We're getting spooky in all the right places. You've gobbled your last ghoul. Follow along for the craziest and spookiest stories with Debbie's Dark Tourism. The Stanley Hotel. Winchester House. The Alamo. Hotel Monte Vista. And more spooky places. Find us at the underscore poltergals. P-O-L-T-E-R-G-A-L-S. Look over your shoulder. It's us, the Poltergals. Wherever you consume the podcast, you can find us there. Wow, wow. And really, they used um, kind of like um, cultural motives because remember, yeah. his family did not want him dating. They were different religions. They had to... Um, that he would be disgraced as his, if his family found out that he was dating her. Mm -hmm. So why not kill her and so that you're not shamed by your family? Yep. He's 40. Yep, he's 40. Okay, so be on the lookout for that. 
And then um, the New York mom. Uh, um, I posted about this on Instagram stories briefly. I haven't looked into it much, but it's terrible. She drowned her three babies. And I heard that she was walking along the waterfront or whatever. Um, they tried to talk to her and she wouldn't even acknowledge them. Like she was clearly out of it. I think she was barefoot and just like wandering, just soaking wet with a robe. Yeah, 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 with yeah, a robe. yeah. Her name was Erin Murdy and this is in New York. And so Nancy Grace pointed out that this, have you seen Excuse the movie? Excuse me, are you trying to take my Nancy Grace? <laughs> she is hilarious. Did you just now start listening no, to her? No, I, I just don't listen to her consistently. Because sometimes she can grab my nerves. Like, she- Listen, sh- I know, but she <laughs> is funny. And she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Now let's not put perfume on the pig. <laughs> let's not put the cart before the horse. She or yells she it doesn't so cuss. Funny. And she's like, how in the double A-S-S can that happen? Or something she's like great. That. So did you you listen to something of hers? I what? did. I just listened to this New York one, uh, uh-huh. her crime updates yeah. about this mom. Yeah. <clears throat> and she doesn't even feel sorry for Andrea Yates, Nancy Grace. Right. Or Susan Smith. So this lady, of course she doesn't. So a phone call came in for, I guess, a well check, well chair, welfare check for from a family member. Oh, okay. And turns out that... Um, they thought that Aaron would have been at Coney Island with her kids. Uh huh. Okay. And Coney Island, if you've ever seen the movie Tom Hanks Big. Yeah. Okay. When they're at the carnival and he puts his quarter in the Zoltar machine and where he wishes he was big and then he's adult, he wakes up and he's an adult the next day, right? Um, that is where this happened. Oh. Like on that pier right there, supposedly she, dr- allegedly, she drowned all three of her kids. A l- three counts of murder with victims under 11 years old. But in the days and weeks before, she had gone off the grid. So she wasn't talking to family anymore. They weren't going to school They were no longer a part of the football team that they were a part of. She kept them in the house and was getting a little crazy and paranoid. Just all of a sudden? I'm pretty sure if they look back, there's signs. But recently, family has said that, like, she, it got worse. So when they found her, they finally found her. She had on her robe. She was soaking wet. And um, she said, my babies are gone. And she was drunk. Allegedly I'm, drunk. Listen, I'm real mad right now because I'm looking at my missed episodes of Nancy Grace because I haven't been listening to them lately because mm-hmm. I've been doing my research. And it's the last two episodes are of this case. And then the one that was posted the today was the rodeo. Yeah, yeah, the rodeo so I would have known about it. I'm so mad. Look at I always you. need to be in the know. And I'm not in the KNOW. But now you are. that is, I, and she was drunk. She had custody. Was there a hu- husband or dad or dad called? What well, and okay, I, but, I have a lot of questions, but I know that we don't have all the answers. So yeah, I'll hold my questions. All I know is dad called and because he was concerned, but yeah. he was at home, and he's the one that said that I think they're at Coney Island, but your ass is at home. So uh, if I was concerned that my wife's going crazy and might be doing something to my kids, I'm not at home with my door wide open sitting on the couch. Maybe it was Monday Night Football. I don't know, but um, Probably. which I don't. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what he was doing. He could have been doing things from at home. Yeah, so we don't. We don't know. Sure enough, they were there, and all of his kids were dead. They talked to one of the little boys' football coach, and how the coach begged the mom to let him play football again. So Is this great. like an ocean right there? Like one of the ocean? yeah. I should know. I am here. Oh. oh. Pier? Pier? There's a pier. The pier is over there. I know. I didn't know if it was like a river or like a. It's a beach. It's an ocean. We're so good. (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm going to open my territory check she maps right now. She drowned him, them, in the sand. There's no ocean what? near at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, how do you drown in the sand? So I, she's going through a psychological evaluation right now. Um, and that pissed Nancy off because she was like, how come every time a ki- mom kills a kid, we put her in the psych ward? Why don't we put her in jail? It's murder. It's murder. It's murder. I don't, well, don't know. So I would like to know like where this is going to go. Sounds like she was kind of going a little crazy. Yeah, is it, it does. Is it going to be an Andrea Yates type situation? Or is it not? I don't know. I just don't. That's all I have. Well, the, there's so much to look forward to. I can't wait to come back to these. Yeah, I want to follow those. And I have. We were obsessed all last week about the Kylie Rodney case, and they're just still. It's still just nothing. But the theory for me has changed a little bit. <gasps> oh, watch what? I what, thought what? I, I thought I told you is. Remember, Kylie is the one that. Was at the party. Uh-huh. She was found in the water. I'm telling them. I know you know. She's the one that's found in the water, right? Yeah. Um, her car. Uh-huh. Police searched everything. Didn't find it. But then the divers came in and found them. Found her like immediately. Yeah. yeah. Adventure of the purpose. Um. Then it came out that a um roadside assistance uh, tow person. Truck, yeah, tow truck guy came and helped them mm-hmm. and. A blonde hair high school girl was driving, but there was a dark haired guy in the front seat as well with a dark hat. Oh yeah. Are you going by what how he explained? How he described yes. that guy with the hat and the hair? Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. But you know, you just it it could have been anybody. Yeah. So But yeah. People heard that and was thinking that really describes her ex. Yeah. Yeah, and Jagger, whatever his name mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. And then he was never like um, Jagger's been seen, but Kylie wasn't seen after that. So that was the last sighting with her and the supposed other guy. And then she was found in the back back of her car, like in the hatch. Yes, and so people are like, "How do we know that that was Kylie driving the car?" How do we not know? How do we know that Kylie actually wasn't dead in the back? And right. that was one yeah. of her blonde headed yeah. friends mm-hmm. that may or may not be in the news a lot. But both of them kind of have fit that same description. Apparently, the best friend apparently Sa- and Sammy. suspicious Sammy lawyered up. Did she? Yeah, that's she what I've should. heard. She should. But like there's a bunch of these YouTube people who are just like constantly doing little videos and updates. And they're like, oh, we have we've talked to this anonymous source. And I'm like come on now yeah we don't need that we need the facts but th- they did say it'll, it would take a little bit of time to uh you know Decide no they death. said that if they have like they won't ha- they will not release any new information till november i do remember that i don't because that's when october? the autopsy september october i'm pretty sure they said november I don't know why. I, I just think that if any information they have, they're just going to like f- go through it and uh, then make a statement. Yeah. I'll, I'm if sure they there's come a lot back of people say, being harassed behind. If they come back and try to say some bullshit, like it's, uh, it was an accident, like it was her and she had an accident. No. Because they no. said that two of there's three friends that people kind of are going three, through and saying that are involved. The best best friend who left the party early, the boyfriend, and then suspicious Sammy that's mm-hmm. really not as close as she's trying to make everybody seem. Yeah. One of their family members is like chief police or yes. big in, in yeah. the yeah. police department. Like you would think, or, though, they would be okay. like, don't go and don't talk. Don't go out, put yourself out there. Yeah, yeah. Because she was That's doing so, interview after interview uh-huh. after interview. She was all over. They were all three heading it up. Well, yeah. Best friend was too. And then boyfriend was commenting that if you have any new tips, text me at yes. or call me yes. at. Yes. And somebody Instead was like, I'm pretty of, sure we need to call the police. I'm pretty sure that's you. what I said. <laughs> it was it's so odd. Like, why would we call you instead of the police? It's, it's so weird. They're injecting themselves into the investigation. I understand like wanting major. to help. 
but that'd probably be me. Just just text me, y'all. If Caroline goes missing, just text me. Yeah. I'll let you know if it's a good tip or not. Yeah. No. Okay. If well, I go missing, I'll probably I'm, just leave me alone. <laughs> just let her just go. Just let missing. me go with my dogs. <laughs> What if you don't have your dogs? Well, if, if I go missing without my dogs, then you know something's you're wrong. Missing, yeah. If I go missing at, with my dogs, le- let me go. Okay. <laughs> you hear that, Dirty Chad? <laughs> she just told you the best way. Did you way. see him washing the car the other day on the on Instagram story? No. Why would I see that? I'm sure. I think he blocked me from everything. No, it was it was what I posted on our story, and it was this guy crazily washing the inside of his car with the water hose, washing the inside. Oh, but it wasn't <laughs> Dirty Chad. No, but it looks like him. <laughs> okay, y'all, here, that was just a quickie for you guys. Keep up with the stuff in the news. Tag us if anything comes up. Yeah, tag us, and uh, anything you find on, I'm, listen, I'm all over Instagram, Tag yeah. Bloody Happy Hour and put it in. We can add it to our story. Anything yeah. we miss, and that way we'll know about it. That we should be talking about, that you want us to follow. Because we're going to try to do these quickies every week because you've got to have a weekly quickie. Yeah, at least once. All right, Turn Up Tuesday is over. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you all Thursday. Caroline's going to come with a good story. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to uh, stay aware. Stay alive. And always be DTF. Bye. 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 This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It's all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues on January 20th through the 22nd, 2023. Tickets are on sale now at roguecon23.com.